Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is December 15th and this is my weekly shop update. So I have a few announcements today. I'll leave those to the end, but let's just get right into what's going on here in the shop this week. So this week I've been working on the secretary uppercase again. I got the stock cut up and selected for the doors and I'm quite happy with what I was able to find. First off, let me show you these. These are the panels that I'm going to be using for the doors. Check out that amazing crotch figure. Absolutely incredible. So last week I was also talking about how I wanted to find a piece of stock that had a large knot in it so that my grain would go over the curve of the arch. And I think I was able to find that. Um, you can see in this board here, you can really see how the grain comes up and over this large, uh, I guess it's, it's kind of a knot or some kind of big defect in the board. So this is going to give me my perfect grain to go over that arch. And something I did that, that really helped me find or kind of get a picture of what this is going to look like is I made a template of the final piece. This is the actual arch or the shape of the arch that's going to be on top of the doors. So I can lay that on the board and kind of figure out you know, where I want it to be. But even easier than this is the cutout from the bottom there is you can lay that right on top of the board and then you can really see how the grain is going to behave in that workpiece. Now something you can also do is, let's see if I have them here, they are. See if I can do this with the, if I can hold it vertically enough. <laughs> is you can keep your, your off cuts from the top and the bottom and then just remove the middle. And then you can really see how the piece is going to look. So. That's what I used to help me kind of select the grain pattern in these. Um, obviously I haven't cut them size yet, but I did just rough cut them so I have enough space to kind of work with them right now. This is one of them. And then the other one is from another board off the same log. It's this one here. But as you can see in this one, the grain kind of follows the curve at an angle. So this is kind of where it's advantageous to turn your board a little bit and lose a little bit of material and just have a little bit more waste just for a more pleasing pattern. So those boards were absolutely ginormous. They are from the biggest cherry tree that I've ever seen. And if you've watched any of my really old updates, which are really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you watched any of those and you watched the one where I was talking about where I made the desk lid, I made that desk lid from the same boards from the same tree as I got these boards from. Those boards are just huge. They were 12 foot long. Uh, 24 inches wide at the widest at their crotch and 18 inches wide at their narrowest and their five quarter. So one and a quarter inches thick. But I do have video of actually cutting down, down the tree and pulling it out of the woods and then actually milling it up. So the cool thing is I have the whole video of that whole log being cut up. So I can watch every single slice of that log coming off the mill and I can match it to the board that I'm going to be using on a project. So anyway, the other thing I did on the uppercase was I installed the dividers for the lower drawer banks. Um, nothing that exciting there. There's just more dividers like, um, where are we going here? Like these ones here, just down the bottom. I divided the area out into three different drawer compartments and with those drawer compartments installed, the joinery on the uppercase is complete and I need to tear it all down and sand it and glue it all up, which should be a fun process. <laughs> So if you didn't see already, yesterday I released a, a video about how I make these end grain cutting boards and I shared all of my secrets. So it's all out there now. You know it all. So one question that I got that I think is really a really good question was I don't have a drum sander, I don't have a jointer, I don't have a planer. Can I still do this? Is this really still something that I can do in my own shop? And my answer is absolutely yes. Uh, to start, the drum sander is really optional. It's this there to kind of speed things up and make things more, more simple, I guess. Um, as far as the jointer and planer go, um, typically, let's just say you have a smaller six inch jointer and a standard you know, lunchbox planer. So in that case, you'd be limited to the six inch width of your jointer, which is fine because you can just make um, six inch wide blanks, glue them up into end grain cutting boards that are six inches wide, and then glue two of them together, and then you've got a 12 inch wide cutting board. 
That'd be the same process that I would have to use if I wanted to make a 24 inch wide cutting board, for instance. So that's not really an issue. Now, what if you don't have either of those machines? Well, as you saw in that video, and as I've talked about before, you can use that router sled for pretty much this entire project. You can use that thing to flatten your blanks and you can use it to flatten the cutting boards in the end. So really all you really need in, in this case is a router sled and a table saw or some way to cross cut these things. So I got a lot of great response about just how cool it is with all the random look of all the patterns. So it just kind of makes me wonder like when I have all these pieces of wood just kind of sitting scattered around the shop and they're all sitting there. Do they wonder what their bigger place is in life? Do they wonder, you know, are they going to become a cutting board? Are they going to become garbage or uh, go into the burn pile? You know, what's their bigger, bigger role in life? What's, where do they fit in? <laughs> oh, that's the existential thought for the day. So a few announcements this week. Uh, the first one is that I'm going to try and start doing a viewer question um, on the weekly update. I think it's just going to be a kind of a fun segment to answer a viewer question. A quick one, maybe 30 seconds to a minute answers, nothing too long. The other announcement is that, it kind of goes in line with that one, is I'm going to start doing separate or a separate video for frequently asked questions or larger viewer questions. Um, that I might receive that I feel that I could put into a larger larger video like three to five minute long video and I'm going to start doing that this week a question that I get a lot is what kind of chisels do I use and you know how do I use them in different applications and things so that'll be this week's video just a really quick three to five minutes here's all the chisels I have here's where I get them here's how I use them and then the next one is going to be how do I sharpen those chisels because I get that question a lot as well Going forward from there, it's really up to you, the viewer. If you have questions for me, as always, send them to me. I'd be happy to answer them. And if I can use them in the, either of those two formats, I will certainly go ahead and do that. So the third little announcement this week is another segment here for the weekly update, which is going to be a featured YouTube channel. It's probably not something I'll do every week, um, but when I do find a channel that I think is worth mentioning to you, I'm gonna go ahead and just share it with you and do a little quick 30 second to a minute little spotlight of that channel. Uh, this week for my first ever channel recommendation <laughs> is going to be Woodworking Barcelona. If you haven't seen this channel already, I encourage you to check it out. Uh, Uis does some really amazing projects but with a really limited tool set. If you don't have a lot of tools and you want to make beautiful things, take a look at this channel because he is just doing some amazing work. He doesn't have a joint or a planer. He uses that router sled technique for all of his jointing and planing um, when he doesn't feel like using a hand plane. So yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, definitely check that out. So I think that's about it this week. So please feel free to send me some of those questions. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to start answering some questions and providing more content because I like doing this. It's a lot of fun. So thanks as always for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, as always, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking. So I have a few announcements this week and the first one is that I'm going to start doing a, basically an answer question, answer question thing, question, answer, question, dealy. <laughs> oh, why is it so hard to talk today? Ugh. Okay. <laughs>